Hello everyone, this is Danny from creatingawebstore.com and today I'm going to cover what is PrestaShop. Well, PrestaShop is actually a free e-commerce solution that lets you sell online quickly and easily. It actually lets you build your own online store and with this online store you can actually have your own domain name. You can list as many products as you like. So basically they don't charge you a monthly fee for using the software and they don't charge you commission for each item sold. Of course, you still have to pay commission to your credit card processor and you still have to pay your monthly fees uh, for web hosting and you have to pay your domain fees. But other than that, it doesn't cost you anything for the actual program. The program is actually very advanced and just by looking at it, you can tell that it looks very professional and you can list all types of products. For example, you can list regular uh, products uh, that are basically shipped by mail. You can also list virtual products, downloadable products and basically what you see here is fully customizable and in addition to that PrestaShop even lets you add uh, certain features to the site by downloading additional modules. Modules are basically what they call this for example this uh, home page slider is considered a module this nav bar here is considered a module the banners are modules even this part right here is a module so basically that's how you can change certain parts of the page due to the fact that PrestaShop uh, manages the entire CMS content management system here uh, using modules. So if you click on a category you will also see that it's very advanced looking and it has many great features. It also allows you to uh, view products by list or by grid. It has uh, a section here for categories and you can expand those categories and it also has uh, layered navigation which lets you uh, tick off certain uh, boxes that let you filter items for example you can filter by color and you can use this slider for example to filter by price and it also has product recommendations that you can add such as these so again it's a very advanced shopping cart and it has uh, many nice modern features for example as you can see it uses plenty of uh, JavaScript here to make uh, menus look better to make uh, it easier for your customers to check out to find things there's also a way to add multiple currencies you can also add different languages you can add store information here you can add a map to your store like here you can add social buttons and when you go to purchase items the product page looks nice and clean and as you can see it features breadcrumbs it has a way to uh, choose your color your size other options that you can add via radio buttons it also has uh, features which uh, this is uh, basically what this uh, section within the data sheet is called. You can also add attachments. For example, I'll show you that right now. For example, on this uh, listing where I have a download, I added an attachment and you can also uh, let people customize certain items. For example, if you sell t-shirts, you can let your customers upload images for that t-shirt and they can also enter in text that they might want printed on the t-shirt. So there are many many advanced features here and as you can see this right here is a downloadable product so people can buy downloadable products they have a wish list uh, they have a way to enable secure checkout for example if I were to check this item out you can enable SSL so that when the person checks out they feel more secure about the checkout process and in addition to that uh, you can also enable guest checkout and you can also enable one page checkout which is something that's really cool and something that I really like because uh, one of the main concerns online when you uh, run a store is making sure that your customer shopping experience is hassle free and then you can also cross promote items like on this listing right here you can have your other items shown here at the bottom. Back here you can see their add to compare. For example, you can compare multiple items. 
and then simply go right here to compare so all very cool and what's also nice is that they didn't forget about SEO for example the software uses URL rewrites of course you have to enable this but that's uh, pretty much the same with all shopping carts and enabling this isn't difficult at all speaking of enabling let me show you the admin panel now so this right here is the admin panel and as you can see there are many stats here for example you can keep track of your orders abandoned carts returns out of stock products notifications traffic stats right here this is our catalog this is where we have our items this is where we list our items to list an item we simply click on add new product and then we fill out this form also we have our categories here and our product attributes those are the sizes and colors that I showed you earlier this is where you actually list them so you actually have full control over all of this then there are your product features, manufacturers, suppliers, tags, attachments, and so much more. Your orders, your customers, price rules. This is where you can uh, set up marketing campaigns. For example, right here is your marketing campaign. Then there are catalog price rules. Then there are cart rules. For example, you can offer coupons. These are the modules that I told you about earlier. This is where you can manage existing modules and you can also add additional modules. For example, this is a Facebook block where you can add your own Facebook uh, like box right there on your site. The image slider for your home page, language block, layer navigation block. That layer navigation block is this block right here that I showed you earlier. And then you have your shipping. And what's nice about it is you can also add additional modules for shipping. For example, they have a module for USPS, they have a module for FedEx, for UPS, and then you have your localization. This right here, you simply go here and you can actually download a pack for a certain language and when you download that you actually get the states, taxes, currencies, languages, units and more. Preferences in general here. You can decide whether you want to enable multi-store for example with multi-store you can actually operate multiple stores using the same admin panel so you can list your items check your orders check on your customers all through one admin panel and then you also have your theme here which is where you can upload your logo customize your theme then this is where you enable those SEO friendly URLs that I showed you earlier you can also put your store in maintenance mode while you're working on it like so right here in orders this is where you enable that guest checkout that I told you about right here and this is where you change it to one page checkout and when you do this is what that looks like so as you can see PrestaShop is very flexible and very advanced and there's plenty of things that you can do to make it work right for you. So to see more about PrestaShop, simply watch my other videos where I actually show you how to install PrestaShop, how to install a theme, how to list a product, how to list categories, attributes, and so much more. So thank you very much for watching and I wish you the best of luck with PrestaShop.